microphone. <laughs> All right. So my name is Gary Clark. I speak to many different organizations, billion dollar corporations, to youth, to foster kids, to juvenile offenders. I just got back from speaking to the Federal Bureau of Prisons National Conference with wardens, judges, and federal supervisors. So I speak to all kinds of organizations. But on the QT, you are my favorites. Seriously, because I have so much love for you. I spent 13 years in foster care. That's 13 years of feeling rejected and beyond that. My mom kept my brother and sister. See, my dad was at Folsom State Prison for the criminally insane for a string of armed robberies from Arizona to California. My dad didn't want me. And my mom didn't want me and my stepdad didn't want me, so they dropped me off at the county orphanage or the shelter. And that's where I began my crazy life. Now, what I'm about to tell you, I had to fight in court as an adult to get this. But this is going to give you an idea. Of, because you look at me, probably, and see the guitar and everything. What's this country boy doing up here? But the thing is, is, you haven't seen what I've gone through to get to where I am today. I got a copy of my county evaluation, my psychological report, and my neurological exam, and my speech and language evaluation. And here's what it states about a little five-year-old, Derek Clark. Derek cannot count to 10. Now my little three-year-old can count to 20. Derek does not know his ABCs. Derek does not know words like dog, cat, girl, boy, or what they mean. Derek has a fascination with death, with murdering his mother, with violence. Derek has a fascination with knives. Derek has a main vocabulary of cuss words. And Derek has the IQ of a two-and-a-half-year-old. And they gave me a label, and this label followed me for a few years. But don't ever believe the label that you get labeled. Don't ever believe it, because every day you get a clean slate. My label was Derek is quote unquote, and this is worse than any cuss word that I think. This word right here. I don't take it lightly, and I'm only going to say it once. Derek is quote unquote, it says in two of my reports, Derek is quote unquote mentally retarded. If he cannot find an adequate home, he's not adoptable. If he cannot find an adequate foster home, he will be sent to the institution. The power! Yeah, I got the power! Yeah, I got the power! What's up now? We gotta take responsibility, yeah. I got the power! Yeah, I got the power! Yeah, I got the power! Oh yeah! Oh yeah!
I'm going to go into my life. Listen to the words. You guys want to hear it? Yeah. It's called This Is My Life Story. Now, I got about 125 tracks on iTunes, and this is probably the most popular song on, on iTunes for me. My Life Story. And uh, here we go. Everybody runs, runs from the pain. If I can change my past, I can stay in that and trouble that I know it last. But this is my life, a battle for my faith. Save my soul before it gets too late. Who's gonna win and who's gonna lose? I never thought I'd be wearing these shoes of life. And it don't feel right. When am I gonna see the light? It feels like walk with me. So walk with me. Come on, man, you just talk to me. Have you ever thought about me in your life? Why do you wanna kill me and take away my life? I'm the blood dead, I'm the sun dead. Yeah, it's messed up knowing that I never knew my dad. Who didn't wanna be a dad? What's up with that? Don't understand, but yo, I gotta move past. Hey, daddy, daddy, hey, where you been? In the jail cell, yeah, once again. You ain't never seen me smile, never seen me walk, never seen me rock, never, never seen me drop this microphone. Yeah, this is my home, let me out of my pain, cause I know I'm not alone. Yeah, these are my peeps, and I'm telling how I feel. This is no secret, and I'm keeping it real now, mama. Why'd you have to run away? Why'd you leave me alone? Why'd you have to make me pay for my daddy's sins and daddy's lies? Daddy's pain and daddy's lies. Now I'm on the outside here looking inside. I'm a bust this bitch, even if I gotta die. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone loses something sometimes. I never thought I'd have to lose my mind. Yeah, lose my world. The walk to where the gate be hope. Now my sister's been killed, and my brother's been killed, and my friends been killed. When am I gonna kill? The snap of the finger of my life gets back to my brain. I'm thinking I'm making a sign to feel trapped for the love loss. Yeah, hate begins. Now I'm mad at the world because the pain won't end. I'll cover up the hurt, I'll cover up the shame. I'm caught in the middle of a hurricane of pain. No pain, pain. Show me what you got. Now I'm never gonna let it go. I'm back in my heart. Come on, wrist, about to bleed, and I don't feel the need. But live in this life, will someone help me? Man, I need you. Say a prayer for me. Yeah, let me believe that you believe in me. Yeah, let me believe that you believe in me. Yeah, let me believe that you believe in me. Yeah, this is my life. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Thank you. So that's my life in a nutshell right there. Thank you. I make my own beats. Was that cool? Yeah. Okay, so... You can actually look up that video on YouTube, My Life Story, This is My Life Story by Derek Clark. So, I learned, I got expelled out of high school my senior year. It talks about it, my brother was killed, my sister was killed, and my good friend was all killed when I was 16 and 17 years old. And I lashed out at the world, and I'm sad to say I got kicked out my senior year of high school. And I didn't know what I was going to do, and in foster care, it's considered aged out. That's when the checks stop coming to the foster parents. It's over. And my foster dad says to me, you know what, you better think about what you're going to do with your life. And I'm like, probably not going to live anyways. And he says to me, you know what, I, I found a program for you to go where you can learn to understand yourself and get rid of this rage that's been haunting you all your life. I ain't going to go to that. I ain't going. Well, if you're going to live in this house you are, well, then I'm out of here. And so that was my frame of mind. But then he says this, he says, why don't you do it for your brother? Why don't you do it for your brother? And I'm like, all right, I'll do it. I'll check out one day. I'll go to it. I've been through psychiatric counseling every, twice a week till I was 12 years old, from age 5 to 12. So I was tired of therapists. But I went, and it was a room of 15 kids. And everybody got to come on stage and tell their story. And I thought, this is weird. Because usually I'm behind the closed doors with the counselor, but now I'm hearing everybody's stories of their, their life. I'm going to tell my story. And I fought it. And then finally he says, get up there, Derek. You need to tell. You need to let it out. You need to let it out. And I'll tell you what. She started, it was a husband and wife team on either side of me, both sides of me. And they were saying to me, Derek, we understand you have a problem with anger and rage. And you keep letting it affect your life. And I'm like, no, I'm cool. My anger is my power. That's my power. 
No, it probably isn't. You have better power than the anger. Well, we understand you went through a lot of child abuse and that your mama burned you with hot scalding water. And I'm like, what? Don't talk about my mom! And I'm getting angry at her. She goes, that's what we want to do. We want to see you mad. We want to catch you in your madness, your rage. And I'm like, I will flip out. I will ask my dad. My foster dad was out there. I go, ask him. Dad, will I flip out? He goes, yeah, he'll flip out. <laughs> and so they said, okay, then what we're going to do is we're going to get three men that come up. And if you flip out, they're going to come restrain you and hold you. I'm like, no, I don't want anybody touching me. I didn't like anybody touching me. Okay, well, what we'll do is if you get mad, the first guy will be right in front of you and the other two guys will be behind him holding him up. So if you get mad, just push. Just push on the first guy and the other two will hold him up. I'm like, you want me to push? Yeah, just push like this. And I literally flip out, throw all three adult men to the ground, and I go after her. And I am going to get her. And as I'm going and running to her, no joke, Everybody's screaming, and I'm screaming at her. And as I'm running to her, she keeps backing up, backing up, and she goes, No, Derek, no, Derek, no! Derek, you know how great you are! What? Derek, you know how much we love you! Derek, you know how powerful you are! And I'm like, what? In the middle of my rage, she's telling me how great I am. And do you know, I almost got her, and right before her, I stopped. And for the first time in years, I broke down and cried. Because this lady who didn't know me saw something in me that I couldn't even see in myself. Greatness. I literally broke down crying right there, and then she did some signal, and then all everybody came up and gave me a big group hug. And I'm like, as people are coming up giving me hugs, like a big, I'm like, oh man, that's cool. And I'm drying my tears because I don't know what all these tears are about. And I'm like, hyperventilating, you know, like hyperventilating and stuff, hyperventilating. And, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is new to me, and all this pain is coming out. And then they just bomb rushed me and gave me a big group hug, and I will never, ever forget that powerful moment of love, ever. You know what they did is they shared hope with me. Hope. This is a Derek Clark acronym right now. Hope. Helping one person every day. You want to see your life go up and blossom? You want to see your life progress in ways that you have never thought about? You give hope to others. Another acronym, helping other people excel. That's hope, ladies and gentlemen. They have given you the opportunity of hope. And now you've got to pay it forward, move it forward, and give hope to others. But I didn't learn until later on in my life to take that risk of loving, of giving. And if you want to get somewhere in life, it's not about you, you, you being selfish. It's about being selfless. And for years, I had a problem of being selfish and pitiful. But at 18 years old, my life took a swing in a whole other direction and I realized that I could take responsibility for the direction of my life, that I could choose my life, that I was no longer going to be infected by my parents' mistakes, by my past, that I was not going to let my past anymore infect my future, ever again. I had wasted so many years, so many opportunities. Now one of my favorite quotes, possibly my favorite quote, is from Rocky Balboa. Sylvester Stallone. Let me see if I can do it here. Let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is going to hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Now if you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth. But you got to be willing to take the hits and not point fingers saying you ain't where you want to be because of him, her, or anybody. Cowards do that. And that ain't you. You are Spartans.
are here to live up to your potential. You can be anything you want to be. That is no joke. And I have toured this school and I hung out with the student leadership last night. What's up, student leaders? Yeah, there you go. And so give me a little shout out, right? And so I have seen the potential of people that have been here three years, five years, ten years, and seen them blossom. Take every opportunity that you've got here. Take a risk and you'll be glad you did it. Get out of your shell. Don't be that invisible kid. Get active. You get scholarship. You get a scholarship. You get your college paid for. Man, I wish I had all these opportunities that you have. Out of 12 million people, my gosh, you're so lucky. So, I gotta finish up on this quote that I love. It's called, take the risk. To laugh is to risk appearing foolish. To weep is to risk appearing sentimental. To reach out to another person is to risk involvement. To expose your feelings to another person is to risk exposing your true self. To place your ideas and dreams before another person is to risk their rejection. To love is to risk not being loved back. To live is to risk dying. To hope is to risk despair. But take that risk, Spartans. Take that risk. Because climb out on that tree branch where the fruit is and stop hugging the tree trunk. Climb out there where the fruit is. You're a winner. And only you can find that. But you got to believe that I will never give up, that I'm a winner. You have to believe it within you. And I'm the never give up kid. Look me up on Facebook, Derek Never Give Up Clark. That's my middle name, never give up. You adopt that as your middle name, never give up. This is your life. This is your life. Now I'm going to finish on one more thing. You guys want to hear one more little rap? I got the power. We gotta take responsibility, yeah. I got the power. Yeah, I got the power. Yeah, I got the power. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I got the power. Nothing but the dirty Nothing but the power. The domination, man. We coming up strong. I'm gonna keep it alive, bro. And I wanna come in, man. I wanna come in. Here we come, man. I got a happy smile on my face. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? I'm gonna be the revenant. Responsibility, yeah, I got the 